Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome to another Warlord Wednesday. And today we're going to be looking at this. Yes, that's right. It's the Africa Corps um, Kradschulzen motorcycle. Now, the exciting thing about this is uh, it's another nostalgic piece I wanted to add into my unit uh, or into my army, I should say. What am I talking about units? Into my army. Now, the motorcycle. Uh, I don't know what it's like in game. I've not used them yet. Um, but I'm steadily building up, building up and building up. I've gone for a few side cards, which we're going to see in a, a later episode. But this is something that I feel can be uh, quite exciting to use. Plus, it's a fast moving vehicle. Not only that, it was quite instrumental in the campaign waging the Western deserts um, across the vast sandy deserts. Now, I couldn't find much information about this on Wikipedia or online. So if you've got any information, put it down below because I always love reading about stuff or any links that you feel uh, I should look at just just send them my way because I'm quite interested in finding out more and more about this why don't we open this up and have a look in the inside and I'll see you guys in a second hi guys welcome back and here we have our open pieces okay so let's take a good look at this well first of all we get these awesome I can't even pick it up awesome um, lipped bases uh, which is really nice because it allows you to put some scenery on there and gives you a nice nice finish all the way around the edges as well uh, and I kind of like these lip bases because it does allow for doing some really beautiful bits of uh, basing in there without it all just slopping over the edge. So that's pretty wonderful. Uh, then we have our motorcycle. Again, really detailed. I've come to expect this from Warlord. We tend to see a lot of really highly detailed pieces um, and uh, a lot of uh, beautiful little sculpted pieces and modeled, uh, modeled pieces. Now this, building this as a tool uh, for casting must have been an absolute nightmare because there's so many tiny little bits in there. And it is so beautiful to see. And we have our two heads. Uh, and I don't know if you can see that, but we'll try and focus in as much as we can. One head has goggles and a, um, a cloth wrapped across his face, obviously the driver's head. And the other guy has just got a normal bare head, uh, a normal head with uh, a cap on the top. Now you also next to that get handlebars and the hands that are holding onto it, uh, which just basically connect up quite easily. Uh, I didn't have any problems with that when I was gluing them together. And then we have our rider at the front, and then we have our passenger that sits on the back seat like so. And they look really, really cool when they're put on, really detailed. So instead of me talking about it, let's take a closer look. I'll see you guys in a second. So let's take a look at the finished piece. Now I've got to say, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly happy with the finished product. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful little mini. Uh, there is so much you can do with it. Now, I opted to not have the head, uh, the head that comes with the box or the, the with the mini, I should say. I've gone for like a bare head uh, so the wind can rush through his hair. Uh, but it kind of makes it kind of nice and different, um, especially if you're going to have a few of these in your army. You want to try and make them a little bit different from the rest. Now, I've also left off the saddlebags as well uh, and just giving it that sort of like it almost looks like they're out for a jaunt or they're just having a bit of fun. Uh, two mates off on a bike, uh, riding around, or maybe just doing donuts and stuff around the camp. Who knows? <laughs> it's just one of those crazy little things you can make up with it. But if you've used these, or uh, if you're intending to use these in his army, in your armies, I should say, God, I can't speak it so early. Um, let me know how you've used them. If you've got any great tips and tactics, again, put them down in the comments. Or even if you're just thinking about uh, ways of using them, please let me know. So guys, you be good, you be safe, and I'm going to be seeing you very, very soon. Take care.